Hey guys, we're here with Naritude for Blender. Let's model something with add-ons. Hard ups, box cutter, mesh machine, decal machine in action. Let's grab a uh, hundred verts in here. What we're gonna be making is some kind of a, a maybe energy cell or something like that. All right. So we got a bevel. Now what we're gonna do is control click bevel to get another bevel on top of it. So now we have two bevels and we're going to slice it. So let's slice it from the top, go to Turn on, turn on these options. Uh, these are snapping tools. This distance here you can change either typing or just holding control and scrolling. Should do. I mean, uh, object mode is best for this one, okay? And I'm just going to go to circle and go to circle. We need to change number of uh, verts to, I don't know, 80 should do, I guess. Something like that. Scale it down a little bit. Change to uh, um, extrusion and then X. Slice it through. There we go. This uh, snapping tool allows you to slice things very precisely, so it's pretty cool. Alright, so you know what, let's just uh, select all of them and literally apply it because, um, not this one. I want to, I want to actually bevel this one, so select the one in the middle and let's go a bit to local and actually, you know what, I'm just going to, do we have two bevels in here too? We should have two bevels as well. Oh, we have only one. Fascinating. Okay then, so let's click another bevel and bevel this. Like that. See what we got here. Yeah, we're doing pretty, pretty cool, we're doing pretty cool. So now let's grab this one and move it outside. Just a bit. Something like this. Let's actually make ourselves some space, so uh, tab I um, mean, control space and T to remove these bars. I don't need them. And let's see. This edge actually needs to be a little bit larger. So what we're going to do is uh, go to machine tools and unchamfer. And we're going to actually chamfer this again, right? A little bit larger. And what we're going to do is actually scale the exterior. So um, control plus, go to top view and orthographic and we're gonna scale this outside but shift c so something like this that should do select everything and then c scale it on z as well perfect so now what we're gonna do is uh cut some holes in it so let's go to select this outer one and run to the middle where is the middle do it again. There we go. Smaller circle and maybe not 80. Let's go to 40. Uh, 44 will do. Double V for circular array and let's array this a bit wider. Here we'll do not too deep, so just a little bit. This should do. Let's recall this cutter and select top face and Q mark and let's just bevel it a little bit outside so something like this peachy now let's see uh, let's save this because blender and we're gonna run a power save because reasons and now let's see let's make it more interesting shall we so let's grab this in fact, let's grab all of it. So, all of it, right? Yep. And let's simply um, extract it inwards. Like this. And then let's... Uh, let's actually uh, uh, sharpen this. And then select this edge on the top. Come on. SZ0 to flatten it. Peachy. Now this one is too big, right? So, um, 
Let's scale this a little bit. Shift Z. So it scales only on on the uh, X and Y. This one's a little bit too tall, so we're gonna cut it. So let's go here. Let's grab a box, shift to view, and slice it just a little bit below. So sharpen it. And we're done. That's, what is this junk remove? Oh, just the array. Right. Um, let's just hide it because, oops, reasons. Let's go to cutters because it's gonna annoy me. And uh, shift to, there we go. So now let's see, um, what we're going to do is this, we're going to um, draw a cutter in here like this, right? I'm going to bevel it and I'm going to run it through and then I'm going to uh, recall it and I'm going to actually um, go to orthographic top, shift D and rotate it and I'm going to rotate it uh, by I think 45 and shift R and if it's not not perfectly aligned I'm just gonna do a perfect alignment manually so control L control L I mean and just you know let's move it like that peachy hide it and sharpen this whoa come on blender there we go what's this just select everything and control I and delete junk okay so now what we're gonna do is we're going to actually cut it so let's grab uh, a circle and grab this one and just you know whoops let's actually um, draw it on the surface so object and you know somewhere here and let's draw it in right so through basically and where's the cursor? We need to bring cursor back here um, to the cent to the center, and then uh, let's go back to hard ups and control click, and that got messed up. So let's align rotation. Try this again. That's better. And now we need to increase the uh, number of uh, cuts. Let's see how we're looking. Yeah, we're looking pretty peachy, so sharpen this. And let's bevel this thing. Just a little bit, yeah. Now, in an ideal situation, what you want to do is run some loops here, but I can't be bothered, so... Um, there should be a loop across before we cut, but to be honest, really, I just can't be bothered. Uh, because it would be easier to connect them, right? Um, but it's gonna be inside, so it's not gonna be that visible. It's fine. It's fine. Well, let's play a little bit with this one, shall we? So, let's go to object, object orientation in box cutter. Alright, let's cut it. 112, there's too many. Hundred is perfect. Okay. Let's uh, let's cut it like this and recall the cutter and shift it to slice. Yeah. And now sharpen both. That's okay. Now let's see. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete this. Oops, delete faces. And delete faces. And we're gonna combine them, okay? I don't know if it's gonna work, but we can try. Oh, they're misaligned. Hmm. Well, what we could do is this. Um, select this one. Nope, not this one. They combined, yeah? So remove the faces in the bottom. Um, select the middle part, delete it. Now grab this piece in the middle. And what we're going to do is actually select the top part, right? 
combine these two actually and these two and then select them and face it and then let's go to occlude and let's see move them in a little bit and then extrude it down and go up see how we're looking yeah we're looking pretty peachy looking pretty peachy so now we can probably use it as a so now we have the um, see those tiny faces so now we can uh, actually use a bevel on them so select the inner part and then check or deselect and now let's try it again there we go because so now we get a support for it see perfect all right then so that's that let's grab this top piece and let's slice it remove this bevel for a second so we're gonna do it manually so let's grab this one and chamfer this and now let's actually slice this mm, like that. but I want to slice it in a way that it's actually becoming some geo what the fuck so let's slice this in addition, let's slice it here. Okay, and then let's recall this cutter. Let's symmetrize it and apply the mirror and everything. Uh, remove this middle edge because we don't need it. Now what we need is a ring in here and a ring in here, okay? Uh, that's too close. Somewhere here. Okay, now let's go to top view and we need to make it shorter and bring it in here. Apply the rotation, go to hard ups. And let's actually array this around. Whoa, that's too many. Yeah, that will do. But it's too big, so I mean, it's too uh, too long. There you go. That's better. And what we can do is actually solidify this. How are we looking? We're looking pretty good. What's happening here? Uh, we got this. Uh, geo problem so we're gonna slice it here with a knife so what we're gonna do slice it with a knife I mean Gucci and now we can simply move this one up sorted and let's see this could be a little bit lower to be honest I'm gonna introduce some kind of just tiny you know irregularity in the, in the shape which is cool and ah it's gonna come out in here that's not good actually wait 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 maybe taller make it taller yeah why not all right so now let's uh let's cut this middle shall we we need something funky in here so let's let's just you know let's just apply these things because reasons and Mm, let's go in maybe by that many then inwards again to the middle and actually let's is this gonna make sense uh, not really the other way around maybe we're gonna meet with meet with this middle here which is not a problem because we can cut it so go to object mode and simply slice it with circle change to cut and circle and cut it through boom and everything is peachy right so what are we doing in here ah inset it 
and extrude it down. It should be larger. Yep, even larger than that. And then uh, we're gonna do the same thing. So extract it up. Maybe even a bit more. That should do. Not after some cards, shall we? So, mm. well, let's cut it like this, really close. Okay. Keep the cut alive. Switch it to box. We need some cavity and shadow, so we can see what we're doing. Um, slice it here like that. And this should be really flat, by the way, so... Um, GZ, move it up. Right, that's better. Let's grab an end gun and do something fun. Mirror this, so that's not a problem. So, let's grab this cutter. And... Let's multiply and copy this. Okay. Now we're gonna grab an uh, end gun, turn the cyclic off, and let's have some fun. Oh, it's mirrored from this side, right? Yeah. Hmm, actually, you know what? Let's delete this one. Yeah, that's pretty cool actually, I like this. That is pretty cool. Let me see that. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Sharpen this and weighted normals. Nice. Now let's grab a circle and drop one in here. In fact, you know what? Let's make it one. Uh, just one opening so let's grab this uh, grab this one and let's bevel this shift to sharpen this perfect now let's grab this uh, this whole loop or oh, this one doesn't matter which one come on blender shift D rip it to its own selection grab it Select all, shift one, and now we get them right in the middle. Extrude it. Which way are we going? We have to go this way, so easy this way. And GY, yeah, and then E, EY. One more time, EY. There we go. And this needs to go down. And of course, this needs to be bigger, so GZ. And there we go. Alright, so we got this shape right now. I'm thinking we could use a split here. And then curve extract. And 1S and Control 2 or even Control 3. This should be a little bit longer. Something like this will do. Geo to mesh and face. And let's see. I have an idea. Come on. SY0, right? I'm gonna select this and expand selection up to here. And delete the verts. Grab this face. EY. Uh, EY, move it in here, split it like this, split these, E cancel Alt S, S Y, switch to individual origins, Bob Jean call, drop a face in here, sharpen this, 
Bevel it. Done. And definitely we need something in here, so... I should do. Alright guys, let's keep going because we know we're near finish, right? So, let's grab this one and select this. Let's insert it a little bit. And let's grab it. Sharpen this. Now let's see. Select this again, insert again, check and deselect. Now let's see. <clears throat> Individual origins, this will not work. There we go. Now it's sinking in. We got some issues in here. This probably caused by let's apply this bullion and let's deal with this junk in here. What's going on? Let's clean it first. That didn't help. Let's go with the uh, 3D uh, 3D toolbox cleanup. Maybe it's gonna help. No, it didn't. Okay, fine. What's going on? Hmm. Double verts. Same here. Are we good? Not yet. Oh, no, that should be fine. Sweet. Okay. Now we wanna. What we wanna do is we wanna add some uh, handles here in the middle. So. Let's grab another plane. Oh, actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna grab the. Uh, we're gonna grab a edge from this one. So let's rip this edge off here. This one. Uh, Shifty and drop a P on it and on selection and uh, orthographic. Move it in here. Uh, Let's collapse it a little bit inwards and extrude it also this shouldn't be sharp and this should be beveled we're going to drop these down so gz and drop them down like this right now we're going to curve this and now i'm going to apply a, a curve 1s and control 2 and gz let's go to um, panoramic i mean orthographic scale it a little bit so shift s and to geometry and scale it a bit and make it thicker i'm gonna scale it manually here like this How are we looking? Yeah, we're looking pretty peachy. Okay, so what we're gonna do now? Come on, we're going to clone this um, around the cursor. So select cursor as pivot, move cursor to center, and Shift D and R, hold Control, and Shift R, and we're done. Let's save this. Let's keep going. Start looking pretty decent. Start looking pretty decent. So now, let's see. This one needs a bevel. And there's some issue in here with bevel for sure. Double verts. There you go. Here, probably two. There we go. And 
and the rest is fine. Alright. Let's drop a net on top of it. So uh let's grab a let's grab a circle and hundred verts and let's drop a face. And let's actually scale it inside, so one, two, and shift R. Well, that will do, it's enough. And now what we're going to do is select all the faces outside, so control I. Control I, come on. There we go. And let's poke them. And Alt J, and then insert them. Delete the faces. We don't need the middle, so we're gonna delete it. Make it smaller, orthographic. It's not big enough. Uh, let me think. Let's do this. Let's uh, let's go to local and select the middle. So circle select, expand the selection. You have to be in the middle. Scale it. Okay. One more time, cursor, but shift cursor to select it. And shift Z. Let's try now. There we go. GZ and move it up. And scale it down. A bit more. GZ. Go to local. There we go. That's pretty cool. And now we need to remove it from here, right? So, so just draw a circle and simply delete it. Peachy. This one could be a bit lower, to be honest. But um, then the problem is that I will need to actually insert this one. So, what we're gonna do is easy and drop it down. So we can actually drop this one in. GZ, drop it in. Like this. Alright. Peachy. So let's see what else we can do here. Could create some cool indentation in this one. So where is it? Uh, yeah, this one, right? So we could separate it, right? Like this. Grab this piece, right? And create some cool stuff in here. So let's grab this and alt um, check or deselect will it work? come on check or deselect there you go and circles let's see if it's gonna work yeah it's working and what we can do is e cancel alt s and turn off the proportional editing and Drop it in, change to individual origins, and scale them. Boom. <coughs> nice. Uh, let's save it. Okay, now we need some exterior, right? So let's grab this power cell and let's um, let's actually let's actually slice it here like this and let's grab this one and sharpen this and let's bevel this right and let's make this a little bit smaller so I'll see scale it in but um, where is the origin point shift C to geometry Come on, seriously now? Oh, these are two two piece. I mean, this is one piece. So let's select, uh, separate it, 
now we're talking now we're gonna scale it in on all axes but z just a little bit not too much the top is a little bit larger yeah? that's what i want i'm gonna give this one a little bit of a of a chamfer too on both sides just a little bit Gucci and let's see now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go with an end gun uh, but a normal one so let's make it asymmetrical for fun cut it in now what we need to do is make sure this is in the middle right so we need this and cursor to select it and this one to this one to cursor and we need to move it up and we need to mirror this and we need to move it out right perfect now we need to solidify this probably and mirror this to the other side or we could do something fancy like for example go control align to view and um, stay here and align this one to view and mirror this on all sides the magic of hard ups the magic of hard ups do that with vanilla blender so now before we apply this we need a lot of loops to release the tension on the booleans some of the loops gonna go through so we might actually move them a little bit and Bob Janko apply sharpen and fix a bit of a boolean I mean bevel is there a bevel in here at all? there is right? it's kinda like uh, I think wait 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 there are two bevels in here right? Um, I'm, I'm, se I'm selecting the wrong one sharpen this bevel there we go now these are solidified pieces right which means they can be uh, split into separate pieces correct so let's just do that separate them let's have some additional fun with them shall we so let's grab an end gun uh, are we on an end gun mode perfect so let's just cut them here and to geo and then we call the cutter is it across the cursor active origin that's why there we go work with me bitch all right so now we need to make it sh shorter and bring it up here and do the same trick so alt q okay fine so let's select a cursor to select it and let's copy this across uh, view and cursor now now we're talking oh wait a minute because this one is a mirror right uh, now i know the problem apply the mirror first there we go now we're talking so um, there we go is it working okay let's see so let's grab this and uh, curve extract a little bit and let's grab a glass here I like it make it a little bit bigger so there's no Z fighting there we go preferably a bit taller fine cheesy sorted can grab this one 
this edge and chamfer it a little bit. All these openings, they uh, they really improve uh, how light falls on the object. Yeah? This one is a bit of a pig because of the lines, but to be honest, I just, you know. Remove the mirror from this one. There we go. Mirror the wrong one. This chamfer might go wrong, but we will see. Shocking. Grab this one too. Cool. So it just adds vi visual complexity with a very simple, very simple, um, simple cut. Now this this one we could make a little bit more interesting. Okay, so we could grab this one and um, remove this one. We could grab this one and move it a little bit higher. Yeah. GG and F and close this one and move it lower. Yeah. And now. We could actually have a f have fun with this one. So, by the way, we can either um, so grab this one again and curve extract outside. It's, it's too thick. There we go. That's good. Scrub and then gone. Uh, give me the um, this one. My favorite one. This is way too thick. So something like this. Now let's grab, let's grab these. And by the way, before we do anything, let's let's do this, okay? Let's grab these two. So uh, Alt H and select these two, combine them into one, and then you know, uh, let's grab these two again. Local mode. Select this. Grab this one and then let's try to let's try to actually make it smaller. So we, I'm gonna cut it, you know. So I'm gonna cut it with a box, yeah. Blender crushed. See what I mean? That's why you should be using power safe. So control S most recent and there we go. Let's see these modifiers here. Weld solidify boolean fine let's let's use them and then alt alt s to geometry there we go now we can move it to cursor and then we can move it back here and then we can rotate it apply rotation no that went badly oh the cursor is down there we need to move it up here so GZ and move it up and move cursor to this one to select it. Okay, to geometry to select it. Is it in the middle? Like hell it is uh, to select it. That's in the middle. Okay, now let's try this again. Apply rotation one more time. There we go. So now we're going to Increase the count. See how we're doing. Move it a little bit higher. Getting some hot lining in here, here too. We can actually remove one or two and uh, we don't need that many, right? So this one could be a little bit lower or something. There you go. Remove this one and, and this one too, really. Just keep one. This one is hot lining too, so GG, move it in here. Should be fine now, okay. So remove that and now we're looking. Yeah, looking pretty cool. Looking pretty cool. Let's grab this cell underneath. Let's see, right? Yeah. Let's actually uh, slap some decals on it. So um, let's go to look dev and yeah, 
it's some material because you can't see anything. There we go. And that's not what I wanted. Let's grab some decals, shall we? gonna do is we're gonna select uh, the decal the glass right and then control I alt M and control click this so we apply materials to all of them and now we can play with it well look at that lottery was actually kind to us because this is perfect um, in fact this could be darker this is uh this needs some work because it looks like garbage we need to actually sharpen this this is not gonna work really no uh, fine so sharpen that's much better and i really don't like reflective materials you know so let's bring the the panel up here and let's see materials let's make it a bit more you know civil also this hdri is it's junk so let's grab a better one there we go that's much better boom oh thank you now i can work Okay, so now what we need, what we need is some screws, right? So, uh, kit ups, and I'm going about. Is my kit ups insert not connected? Let me see that. I was purging the blender recently, and then like a few hours ago, file path. Scripts, yeah, it's the wrong path, okay. Whoa. So, we need to go here and grab this. Save prefs. Let's see now. Yay. Okay. Grab this one. And small is fine. Okay. Let's um, actually, you know, let's do it properly, so <clears throat> it's going to be more accurate. And now let's actually um, bring the uh, cursor to the middle and just let's array this. And uh, how many do we need? Bingo. This should do. Well, this should be much. Actually, you know what? This could be a. Yeah, there we go. This could be a bit darker, yeah. Or not. Now, let's see that. These colors are a bit boring in here. This gotta be something else, man. Let's see. Let's run the lot lottery on this one, come on. appeals to me okay tell you what where is this glass 
This glass is awful, by the way. Let's um, share the compositor. I mean, share the editor. Uh, it seems to be bluish and darker. There you go. It's much better. Um, this one is boring as hell, so let's make it interesting. You know what? Make it metallic. Alright. How about we're gonna make it a glass too? This handle could be the same as this one actually. Or not. This one is boring too. Too metallic, I think. Hmm. It's not too bad. Not too bad. You could drop some decals on it too, right? So Let's see how we're looking in cycles, by the way, because it's kind of important. What the hell is this? Oh, there's a black. Oh, there's a black one. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe we could. Uh, maybe we could make this one black. Maybe, maybe. How are we looking? Yeah, maybe it's a little bit too dark. Maybe it's a little bit too dark. That's pretty cool. This could be actually the same. Yep. That's pretty good. And then the interior, this one, where is it? This one. No, this one. This one. This one actually could have uh, cool stuff going on in here. So um, let's grab a let's grab a, a sphere. And control M Alt to make it illuminate illuminationary to make it a uh, emission. Come on, there we go. And um, not a sign. Um, add new one and material assign. There we go. Go away, please. Oh, come on. How are we looking? Yeah, we're looking pretty cool. We're looking pretty cool. Where is the... Uh, I need the notes. So, shader editor and... Strength. Let's make it a little bit, you know, more Azure-like. Yeah. Wicked. Wicked. We're looking peachy, we're looking peachy. Now this one should be a little bit darker, but what I'm going to do actually is um, set them. Uh, EM macro. Grab it out. Inside is actually okay. Yeah. Perfect. It should be darker though. It should be darker. How about if you're gonna switch these? That's actually not too bad, but this one should be brighter than right. Mm. 
yeah all right this is pretty cool this is pretty cool can definitely have some much more uh, more fun in here so let's bring this up Small details. Okay, so now let's grab some uh, some decals on it, shall we? So. Let's rotate it again, and I'm just going to do the same trick. Wait, yeah. So, Alt X View and Active Origin, and just copy it. Bingo. I love this hop smear, it's so good. I mean, it's just too good. Okay, so now let's add some more stuff here. This should be on both sides, so local. And then we need to fix the mirror because it's gonna be flipped. So we need to grab this decal and flip the mirror. There you go. Now it's mirrored properly. So like this, cursor to select it. In fact, um. Uh, let's apply this again. Okay. And then let's try to do this again. And apply rotation. I oh, know. Let's do it differently. Let's apply it first. So. So project it. And then we're gonna uh, rotate it. Bingo. And now we're going to actually uh, array this around. And this should work. Decal wizardry. Um, let's just actually adjust it and bring it up a bit. Perfect. Nice. And then um, let's drop some stuff in here. So this will do. And adjust it bring it in here make it smaller not too small i really need it in the middle or at least a, more or less in the middle so because otherwise it's gonna um, it's not going to um mirror well yeah it went pretty well it went pretty well we're good we're good Now watch this, what we're gonna do. It's gonna be select these, right? Go to edit mode. Where is where is this decal? Uh go to edit mode, select everything, shift D and G Z and move it down. Can you do this? Z, move it down, and boom. Decal savage. You know what? That's too many. That's too many. That that, that doesn't look good. On the bottom, we're gonna do something else. Okay, we're gonna do something else. We're gonna do um, where's the decal pack? Uh, I was using for that's a decal pack actually for the new uh for the new course that we are working on. This thing's gonna be savage, and it's the only way you can get these decals, guys. You have to get the course. Sorry. So. Um, it's projected nice and I'm gonna flip it to the other side so boom here and this one doesn't need it spectacular awesome 
All right, now we need some stuff in here because boring. And let's go to my Japanese decal park and see what we had in here. Mm, electric shock hazard. Yeah, why not? That could that could work. That could work. Uh, so we could drop it. Mm. Well, we could drop it somewhere here. That's fine. Let's change the color because boring. Let's make it black. Awesome. Also, we need to change this. Um, go to machine and change this to closest. Interpolation is gonna um, change how how decals actually being displayed. So it's pretty cool. Um, it removes this kind of like a, a hot lining and bleeding effect. So now let's see. Let's do it on the corners to annoy all the people who who ask me again. Dude, are these bullions? And I say, yeah, man. How did you do it? Uh, just you know, practice, dude. Practice. What can I say? All right, let's grab these and let's copy them. Um. Again, so rotate this same trick Alt X local change to view and boom. This this mirror and align tool is just is better than sex, especially at my age. So um, let's see that. Uh, let's grab some number in here because why the hell not? some text small one doesn't have to be big one small one is fine and just make it black boom those tiny details guys they're like amazing okay here we need to you know add something because boring so let's uh, let's see what we got mm. Right, and we need to bring it to the front, more or less. And then project it. And then we need to array this nice cursor in the middle. We could bring it up here. select it and then around the cursor and apply rotation and increase the count and Bob Jonko. Now all we need to do is adjust it. Okay, awesome. Let's see how we're looking in uh what I call this thing? Cycles. Because it's important. If it's not important, if it's garbage anyway, so 
We all want cycles, don't we? If you do not render in cycles, you're doing it wrong. Enough said. Because with uh, correct settings, you can just render stuff also almost instantly in cycles. I mean, this will take like probably a minute or two max to render. Um, let's see. These buggers could be a different color, you know? These, right? So what we could do is control L this and control I and select it. And this could be actually glass, you know? So look cool, I think. Yep. This would definitely look cool. I like it. All right, so oh, let me see now. Well, it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad. We need we need still a few, few more decals because, you know, it's a little bit boring, right? So this text should be standing out a bit more. So perhaps brighter. And maybe this glass is a bit too dark, so... Change it to uh, shader editor and object and lift it up a bit. The transparency, I mean. Yeah. Maybe it's gonna be better like this. Could be, could be, could be, could be, could be. Okie dokie, that's good, that's good. This one's gonna brighten up as well. And what's inside actually? Hmm. Let me bring this for a second here. What do we have in here? We could actually, you know, I try this one parameter and inset them like this and extrude them out, right? And select them and then add a sign, not a sign, um, a new, uh, new material. Where's the emission? And a sign, right? And see, hey, is this gonna work? Yeah, see, now it's cool. It shines through. Pretty cool. We'll see how it's gonna render. Anyway, um, <clears throat> let's go back to rendered. I mean, uh, look deaf because we need few more, few more decals here. So. Um, Let's grab this and drop it in here. Should do. Yep. Let's fix this. Black is fine. Let's make it really small, like tiny. Right? Yeah, I have a better idea. Um, let's go back and where's the cursor here? What we're gonna do is we're going to change um, change rotation to cursor. We're going to rotate this thing in here. Then we're gonna shift uh, shift D and shift R a few times. Select all of them and R and rotate them a little bit this side. Okay, Control J. 
and then select these and fine. Uh, Alt I uh, clear the mirror and then there we go. I'm pretty good with this, you know. I'm pretty good with this. Bottom doesn't matter. Plane, in fact, screw plane, circle. Uh, hundreds. And put a face inside, drop it to the bottom. When you place something on the ground, make sure it's, you know, well placed, because it's important. Solidify down, drop some color on it. Uh, that's way too dark. Let's make it brighter. So it actually reflects. No, 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 not blue. What are you doing? Okay, perfect. Now I'm just gonna grab a plane. Let's rotate it on X by 90. Let's make it larger and maybe not that long, but longer. Drop some loops in here. Come on, one more time. Perfect, and now what we're gonna do is uh, deform it, apply rotation, and angle it. Let's actually, uh, let's solidify so I can see this, and bring it somewhere here, make it bigger and copy the materials and shade it smooth and let's see let's grab a camera to view lock camera to view change the size to to 560 and let's go so let's let's first let's position it properly how big is this floor um, what this should do actually is it the same color? let me see that kinda is um, let's make it all metallic might be more interesting although yeah it's alright make it maybe reflective there we go, clear coat remove the reflections this could be a bit darker though you know, like this for example and let's bring the photographer add-on because that thing is amazing let's pump our exposure a little bit okay now i think 50 mil is fine the the, the lens should should do so let's try this and let's see we could actually drop a um drop a um a reflector here from this side so um drop a new material and let's see that I mean, not too much because it's gonna be also I want to remove it from this uh, floor because it's gonna affect the uh, shading it's a little bit too long this should help a little bit with the light now let's see if it's not too bright because too bright is gonna be bad let's reflect a little bit of light not too much yeah. maybe that should do Maybe a little bit more. Alright, so let's try to render this. Um, let me see if I'm in correct settings. Um, nope, I want to be in optics. And let's go. Oh yes, important, save. Well, let's see how we're going to do. So it's like only two minutes, 
it's gonna be probably faster than that. So I catch in a few, yeah. Alright, before we finish rendering this, I can already see the top is a little bit dull, yeah. So I'm going to stop this. Stop this madness and I'm gonna drop the color on this one because it's garbage, okay? It looks like plastic and I, I just don't like it. So um let's drop rafters on this one first of all. And let's make it darker, yeah. And Let's make it more interesting, shall we? Um, maybe this is gonna be better. Oh, well, fuck it. We're gonna make it silver. Let's see how we're gonna do. So, make it brighter. Brighter, kind of like a gun, um, gun metal steel. That's what I'm gonna do. Reduce the roughness on this one. It's specular. And make it darker. Or brighter. Oh. Muy muy interessante. Maybe this one is good. Me likes. Uh, let's grab this color here for the screws because now it's too dark sexy and let's go uh save because reasons and render see sometimes uh sometimes you gotta try things before you decide and you know make sure that that's what you want try not trying things out usually produces the best results now that is pretty cool actually it's much better than the previous one the text could be a little bit more uh, rotated so what I'm gonna do is um, we need to apply the mirror and then rotate it everything should be peachy then let's just place it outside yeah let's render this you know what still annoys me? I tell you what annoys me. You're gonna laugh, but it annoys me. It annoys me that this text is not actually. It's a little bit cut off. I mean, the, the distance between the edge of this battery and the end of the text is not. It's not ideal. Okay, uh, uh, it's just not ideal. That's better. Not render it again. Let's see that. The focal length is a little bit fucked in my opinion. It should be a little bit larger, so maybe let's try 70, okay. I'm gonna have to actually move it backwards, but that's fine. My point was that uh, it was distorted, which means the top was actually less visible. Um, it was differently angled, and it was kind of like a barrel-like shape. And I think this is gonna be better. That's just my humble opinion. I could be wrong. I'm usually always right. Let's see that. Let's bring it back in here so you guys can see. Yeah, it's a bit better. We got some bleed over here on the uh, on this side, you know, and the back could be a little. I mean, the the uh, background could be a little bit darker. So let's uh, move this garbage a little bit outside. And these are the the, the same. No, they're different. Uh, okay. So you know what? Let's actually. Let's actually unify this uh, backgrounds and make it darker and see what's gonna happen. What's gonna happen? See if it's darker is better, right? So let's render it now. I can do it for hours, guys. Just you know, just saying. I can sit here playing with these renders for us. I can already see that the floor is shit, so I need to change it. It just doesn't look good. It's it's bland. Yeah, so it's not terrible, but the same one, right? Right. How about we're gonna uh, drop background on this one? So same as this. Make a background darker. I mean brighter, sorry. Or grab this one. Don't like it. All right, let's grab the bright one and see how we're gonna look. I don't think it's gonna be amazing, but it's gonna clash with the top, you see. How about we're gonna grab a black one? The very dark one, right? Or assign a new color. So, add black material and make it dark. 
so like this so we're gonna have a contrast between the floor and the ground just like we have a contrast between the uh, top of the battery and uh, and the bottom it's pretty good the only problem is now that I think it's actually too dark and also we get a bleed here from this uh, reflector and yeah, the reflector doesn't do a good job because this one is really dark okay fuck it let's go back to uh, the bright uh, the bright side of the force let's go back to the bright uh, mods and this one really this one really needs to you know what let's just remove it screw it um, let's render the image again you know, I could actually stand behind this, maybe it could be like a really bright, kind of, bright battery pack, kind of like it. Then dark text, like black or something, yeah, I could stand behind that one. Hmm. Fascinating. Okay, I think we're looking pretty good, so uh, let's grab this one and save as, and... Alright. Now let's bring it to Photoshop, shall we? Thanks for watching, and... There are links in the description to the store of Master Zeon 1001 where you can buy uh, hard ops and box cutter and at the moment there is a discount so hurry the hell up and get it before it's you know before it goes up again because if you want to get into the add-on workflow that's the best time to do it and also links to uh, machine add-ons, smash machine, decal machine so if you're interested go and get them if you want to play with some decals, I have uh, decals on my store on Gumroad, link in the description. There's a free pack as well over there, uh, so you can download it and play with my decals if you want. And if you're interested, you can buy more. Uh, there's a lot of packs, or like four or five packs on online, I can't remember. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Give us a like and sub if you did, and I'll catch you in the next one.